Today we're looking at the AGM 65 Maverick in the A10C. The AGM 65 Maverick is a precision guided, standoff, fire and forget air to ground missile and is used against armoured, air defence and fortified targets. Mavericks can be loaded on stations 3 and 9 using either the Lau 117 single rail launcher or the Lau 88 triple rail launcher. D and G models have an imaging infrared seeker. The imaging infrared seeker uses radiated heat from hot engines, making it all weather capable. The H model has a charge coupled device seeker optimised for desert operations while the K model uses an electro-optical television guidance system. The D and H models have a 125 pound shaped warhead and the G and K models have a 300 pound heavyweight penetrator warhead. All models can be loaded singly on the Lau 117 while a maximum of 3 D and H models can be loaded on the Lau 88. There are two Maverick tracking types, Centroid tracking and Force Correlate tracking. In Centroid track mode, the Maverick attempts to lock the tracking gate on a target that has sufficient visual or thermal contrast. In Force Correlate mode, the Maverick seeker tracks a specified target of a larger object. Force Correlate mode is not available with the AGM slash TGM 65D Maverick. Engagement range is limited by seeker lock-on range which is generally between 3 and 7 nautical miles. The AGM-65 uses an internal gyro to stabilise the seeker. The gyros must be aligned before use. To start the gyro alignment process, open the Maverick page on the Dismas and press OSB4. The EO timer displays the time since the Mavericks were turned on. The alignment process takes 3 minutes. The weapon station boxes include the following information. The name of the Maverick version, the type of launcher and the Maverick status which can be off, align, ready, standby or flaps. Standby indicates the station is in standby mode, but is aligned. Flaps indicates that flaps are down and must be raised before using the Mavericks. Number of weapons on station since power on is also indicated. Stations 3 and 9 are coloured white when active with Mavericks loaded. Set the master arm switch to arm. To display Maverick video, press OSB 14. To adjust slew rate, enter the desired value in the UFC and press OSB 8. Sensor mode is indicated if no Maverick profile is selected. Select a Maverick profile with the Dismas or through the HUD rotary profiles. To select a Maverick profile through the HUD rotary profiles, Set the hood as soy with coolie hat up short and cycle the profiles with DMS left or right short. The Maverick is now in weapon mode. To set the Maverick MFCD page as soy, press coolie hat right long. To change field of view, press china hat forward short. In this example, the current steer point is over the target area. The tracking gate can be placed over the desired target with the slave alter speed command, which is China hat forward long. The dynamic launch zone replaces the sensor indication. The top and bottom of the DLZ staple indicate maximum and minimum range. 
The carrot indicates line of sight range to the points under the tracking gate. The number below the DLZ indicates the projected flight time of the missile. Initiate a lock with TMS forward short, or slew the tracking gate over the desired target. When the slew control is released, the Maverick attempts to lock onto a target inside the tracking gate. If it cannot lock onto a target, the seeker will go into brake lock mode, and the crosshairs will expand out. Depending on its range and size, it may require several attempts to lock the target. The seeker will no longer be stabilised once slewed off, if slewed from a stabilised position. The position is stabilised when bore sighted, or slaved to the spee. To recage the Maverick seeker to its bore sight position, press China Hat aft short. In the bore sight position, the tracking gate can be pointed at the desired target and pressing TMS forward short initiates a lock. When locked onto a target, the pointing cross will flash. The pointing cross represents the angle of the Maverick relative to the aircraft's longitudinal axis. Hold down the weapon release button to launch the missile. Rifle As always, Feel free to like, comment and subscribe.